let's look at the first question that was on this year's AP Statistics free response. Number one, the researchers studying a pack of gray wolves in North America collected a data on the length, and length is represented by x in meters from nose to tip of tail, and the weight, weight is represented by y in kilograms of the wolves. A scatter plot of weight versus length revealed a relationship between the two variables described as, they are using three words, positive, linear, and strong. And for the situation described above, we want to explain what is meant by each of the following words. Well, positive means what? As length increases, the weight seems to, appears to, seems to increase. Oh, that's what it's mean by positive, as length is going up. The weight also seems to be going up, as length is going this way, weight seems to be going this way. What does it mean by linear? Well, this means the relationship between length and weight can be represented, represented by a straight line with constant slope. So it's telling you the, how it's distributed can be, can be represented by a straight line or by linear regression line. So the strong means what? The relationship the relationship can be very well represented by the straight line, represented by the line, by line. Also you can say the absolute value of the correlation coefficient r or the coefficient of determination r squared is significantly, is significantly close to 1. That's another way of saying it. Or you can say the linear line seems to be a very good fit for the scatter plot of x versus y. So there are many different ways you can describe these three, but I feel like what I did is reasonable. Let's look at the next one. B. Interpret the meaning of the slope of the least squares regression line, which is given, which is given here. Let me rewrite that. Let me rewrite what they gave us. It's right. Th it's right. This y hat is equal to negative sixteen point four six plus thirty five point zero two x. The slope. If you think about this, when x, what is the x? X is the length, and y is the weight. When x is zero, when x is zero, y hat is what? Negative sixteen point four six because this thing becomes zero. But when x is one y hat is now plus 35.02 because x is 1. When x is 2, what happens? y hat is six, negative 16.46, that stays the same, plus 35.02 times 2, so you got 2 35.02 that's added to this. So easy way to interpret the slope is by saying when length increases by 1 meter, the weight increases by how much? Every time the length is increasing by 1, weight seems to be increasing by 35.02. 35.02 kilograms. That's one way of writing this. You may also want to mention the fact that we are measuring the length and weight of gray wolves in North America if you want it to be more based on context. Now let's look at C. One wolf in the pack with a length of 1.4 meters so length is 1.4, so y is, oh, no, 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 x was, x was length, y was weight. So x is equal to 1.4 meter, had a residual of negative 9.67 kilograms. What's a residual? That's when you actually find the weight, so that's an actual weight, and you subtract it by the weight, expected weight, given by the regression line, that is the residual, and you got negative 9.67 kilograms. What do we wish to find? We wish to find the weight of the wolf. So we wish to find y. How do we find y? Well, if you look at this, you know y is equal to y hat minus, neg ne minus 9.67. Just rearranging, rearranging this. And we also know they gave us y hat is negative 16.46 plus 35.02x. So we can plug this in. Negative 16.46 plus 35. 
0.02x, that's y hat, and you want to subtract 9.67, and what do we know? We know the x, so we can plug this in, negative 6.46 plus 35.02 times the x, which is 1.4, minus 9.67 gets us what? Let me plug this in into my calculator, negative 6.46 plus 35.02 times 1.4 minus 9.67 gets us 22.898 kilograms and that's it.